Hello everyone, today I want to show you that um, a deployment it actually runs a replica set underneath. So what I mean by that is when you run a pod, you run a pod, no big deal. Uh, you can run a replica set, which basically means that run the same pod n times, right, in parallel. So that makes it replica set. So you can, you can say uh, run a replica set with nginx pod with 100 counts. So you can, in one command, you can, you can start literally 100 pods using a replica set. But deployment, on, on the other hand, is actually a layer above replica sets. It, it can, you can roll out new versions with different image uh, versions. You can roll back. You can have version history. All of that is available to you as a deployment, as if as, as in, in a production environment, uh, that, um, that you don't have with replica sets. However, the thing I'm trying to prove to you today is that when you run a deployment, underneath, it really do, does just run a replica set. So first of all, let's look up our um, examples for running a uh, deployment. First of all, let me, let me prove it to you first that there's no replica set running right now. None, right? In fact, there's no pod running right now in default namespace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the command for example, cube CTL, create, create deployment, minus eight, just eight for help, and it gives me a whole bunch of examples. I don't have to look up anything. I don't have to think through anything. So this is a replica, this is a deployment that I'm going to run. I'm just for fun, I'm going to give it like 30 pods, right? 30 replicas. I run that, it's already created. Now let's look at look at how many pods are running. Some are running, some are getting created. So let's do this. Let's do grep running and do it word count. And now basically all the pods are up and running, 30, all 30 of them. Now that so if I do now do a k get deployment, I see that I have one deployment running just like the one I just created. I never actually told it to create a replica set. But if I do this, F K get RS for replica set, you see that there's a replica set running underneath the deployment with 30 pods, right? And it was started 37 seconds ago. So again, just the pr point of this video is to pr prove to you that when you create a deployment under the hood, it really creates a replica set. I hope this video uh, was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I will see you next time.